Alright everybody, what is up and welcome back to a brand new video of Cocktail You Drop. And guys, in this video I'm going to be explaining a few things on Battle Royale. Spe uh, specifically, the update and what they have changed in Battle Royale. So, a lot of people like to do the multiplayer and the big hype was the zombies that were coming up. I did the zombies, I stayed up for over two days waiting for the zombies. And it wasn't anything like I expected I'm mostly a uh, Battle Royale player, a lot of people I know love multiplayer, and a lot of people love the zombies, but for anybody who does like the Battle Royale uh, perspective of the game, this video is for you guys. And I also like the third person view, like, I don't know, I'm more of a third person kind of guy, I've done the uh, first person in the past, especially before I played uh, PUBG and Call of Duty, but... It's it's just not my thing. I mean, the last time I played first per first person was years ago on a PSP on a game called Coded Arms. But that's getting off topic. Anyway, uh, first thing we're going to notice, guys, is the graphics. The graphics look completely different. They, they seem more realistic now. The uh, I don't know, like, they looked realistic before, but now they look more like, uh, I don't even know how to word it. They look It looks more real. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Another thing you guys are going to be noticing is they have also added an M16 into the game. Not my favorite weapon in the world, but compared to the snipers, I don't know why, but I hate the snipers on this game. So compared to the snipers, if you got a 4 times scope and you put it as your secondary to use it as a sniper, it works pretty well. It probably does, I mean, I'm not going to say it does because it probably does a little bit different, but it probably does about the same damage. Here is a look at the gun. Looks sweet. M16, a little bit of uh, shooting to show you. This is going to ruin my accuracy, but fuck it. But, uh, yeah, they've now added the M16 to the game. It's a burst. It's really not the best in the world. I would not recommend it unless you have it as a secondary. Third new aspect added into Battle Royale is the hole in the wall. Now, it's not in all houses, but it is in a few, like this one right here. And, uh, yeah, the hole there is basically for bots. If you know why, cool. If not, then I'm going to give you a little rundown on it. So the hole there is basically, let's say that you have zombie ability and a bot runs into a house. You know it's a bot or whatever, it doesn't have a back backpack on it, shot you a few times and ran away. So you're 99% sure it's a bot. So you throw your zombies. The zombies will, uh, you know, be close enough to the bot that they'll chase after him and they'll go into the house. The bot will uh, be caught upstairs because he has nowhere to go and, yeah, basically kill him. Because bots are not uh, <clears throat> allowed to jump out windows. I don't know why, but they can't, like, bolt. So that hole in the wall basically makes it a little easier if you, let's say, you throw your zombies and they go upstairs, then uh, the bot has a chance to actually escape. So that's, yeah, a little something new. The fourth thing added into Battle Royale is you cannot jump as high or as far. I don't know why they changed that, but apparently people were jumping too far and they didn't like that. I know I just played this part of the video, but uh, let me re-show you. I use this fence as an example. I used to be able to always jump over it without touching it, now... Literally every single time but once, I touch it. So this one part is probably obvious, especially if you've played Battle Royale recently, but the scout now looks different. That isn't much, but it also has another effect. After so long, when the scout is used up, it actually blows up now. So, yeah, that's a cool effect if you, uh just so happened to walk in front of someone's scout at the last second i'm sorry for your loss like i think they added that to the game honestly because of me it could i mean i don't want to take credit for it if it's not but i'm thinking uh if you guys have seen some of my some of my videos i would always uh shoot the vehicle tires or i would shoot the uh leg of the helicopter and basically uh be able to fly around with scout on it I think they've added the explosion part so you actually can't shoot the vehicle, and if you do, you're going to take some damage, if not blow yourself up. Another thing that is now added into the game, you can actually get strikers out of crates. Like, usually they would only have the BY-15, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only shotgun that they have on Battle Royale. But you can now get the striker out of crates, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure about airdrops, I haven't found one in an airdrop yet. But I know that the uh, crates that only had shotguns in them, that I've found strikers in them, in them now. And while we're talking about the BY-15, they've uh, now changed that as well. Before, it used to be kind of full auto. What that means is that you were able to hold down the uh, fire button, 
and it would go like boom, boom, boom. It was full auto technically because you'd hold it down even though it wasn't, and that was good for a lot of people, especially players like me, who, uh, well, basically my phone screen is pretty small. I mean, it's bigger than some, but it's still pretty small. And I don't have the money to afford a tablet right now, so I can actually use a four or four finger claw. So I just play with thumbs, and I mean, I'm pretty freaking good at it. But uh, yeah, what I would do if I had an enemy on me or whatever is I would hold down the fire button and basically just keep my uh, sight right on the enemy at all times. And every time it shot, I would hit him. Now you have to actually turn your sights towards them, or like let go of the fire button turn your sights towards them, and actually shoot, let go, shoot, let go, shoot, let go. It's a real pain. Honestly, I feel like we need to switch that back, but that's another update in the game, and I don't know if you guys saw a little bit ago, but, uh, yeah, there was a bush flying, so obviously this game still has a few bugs that they need to figure out. Number eight on this list is basically the same thing as number one in a way. It's not the exact same, though, so I figure it deserves a spot on this list. They have uh, also rearranged houses. I know I said the design looks more realistic, but now the houses are actually in different areas. Some of them, and some of them look just look totally different. Some of them have new uh, stairs. Some of them have new, like, they would look like they were turned around completely. And, yeah, they've also uh, added different areas in the map as well, like uh, a snow area on the map. Actually, the first time I played this map, uh, after the update, that's where the zone was, was on the snow area. I think it's in, like, the north top, uh, I'm gonna say northeast. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna, I think it's up there in the northeast area. So, yeah, I feel like that deserves a spot in here as well. Number nine on the list, they have finally changed the, uh, voice, or the voice chat. Before, when your game would crash... Uh, yeah, you basically couldn't talk, you couldn't hear anybody, it didn't work whatsoever, I do not know why, but it was a really bad glitch in the game where, yeah, you just couldn't talk. If you're, let's say you were in the middle of a round and all of a sudden your game crashes, and you reload the game really quick, nobody can hear you, you can't hear anybody else, and it was overall just annoying as hell. Especially if you're trying to hear enemies that got salty, or if you're trying to hear your teammates. But, yeah, they have actually fixed that now. Pretty cool. Uh, I wish I did the same thing for the game actually closing on you, because that's something that still has happened to me. The game just says, hey, I'm going to close. So, yeah, they need to really fix that glitch more than the voice one, but that's still cool. Props to you. And number 10 on this list, closing it up, last but definitely not least, my favorite part of the update. Guys, they have finally done it. We have more actual people in Battle Royale. Before, you maybe got two, three squads, depending on what rank you were. If you got really, really high in rank, like, you know, Legendary or whatever, they might, might add, like, three, four real squads. Now, there's at least three real squads at the end. It's awesome. And that's at the end. I know I at least killed uh, some other people, at least some parts of squads, so... Three real squads at the end, that's dope as fuck. I like, honestly, fighting real people. I hate, and I mean I hate, when I have to go against bots. Like, I feel like that just takes from the game. They uh, basically take a good thing and they ruin it. So, I am extremely happy about that. Thank you guys for finally making more actual players in Battle Royale, instead of, you know, making like a hundred different maps and only putting two or three squads in it. I love to kill people, especially real people. And with that being said, guys, that's going to wrap this video up. So, guys, let me know what you think about the uh, new update or the new things that they've added into Battle Royale. And uh, let me know if, if I've also missed a few things. If I did, make sure to tell me, and I will try to cover it in a future video. And, uh, yeah, guys, let me know exactly, like, if you guys are a multiplayer person or if you're a zombie person now. Or if you're a Battle Royale person, let me know. And let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see on that. I will make sure to try to do that for you guys. And finally, if you want to uh, play any Battle Royale with me, I mean, I'm also down to do multiplayer if you guys want to do that. Not really zombies. Like I said, it's not really my thing. I I've done it a few times, and I'll probably do it with uh, my friends a few more times. But honestly, I I'm not a big zombie person. But yeah, if you guys ever want to do Battle Royales with me, or if you want to do multiplayer with me, just let me know. And uh, 
yeah, I'll add you guys. We could even make a video together, and you could be on a future video. So with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 video, and I hope you're all having a great day. If you guys did, then make sure you leave a like, and I don't know why I said top 10. It's not a top 10, it's a 10 things. I'm feeling like one of those fucking top 10 channel things now. Woot! Gotta get that side of me started. Gonna go and, you know, start making YouTube on top 10 gumballs of the world or some bullshit. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy, and peace out, everyone. See ya.